Good morning, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I'm starting this vlog a little bit weird in the mirror, but we are just actually about to head out to the farmer's market. It's Sunday morning. You're probably gonna be watching this on a Tuesday if you watch it the day that it goes up anyway. We wanted to rush to get to the market as soon as possible because it's supposed to storm really bad today. Um, so we want to make sure that we get there before it starts storming and they close down. My face is looking pretty sleepy, but I did just wake up like 20 minutes ago. So let's go to the farmer's market. Cute little garland on the floor because we have not yet decided where to put it. So I might like play around with that and show you guys a few options. I think maybe above there, um, perhaps above here, maybe above our bed. I don't know yet, but it's from Target and it's very cute. Also, the most exciting part about this vlog, which I'm literally like, my heart is just so happy right now. We finally got our coffee cabinet. Our coffee cabinet has arrived and Josh is putting it together and I'm so excited about it. This will be replaced with a really cute little coffee cabinet situation. I'm really hoping and praying that all of my coffee stuff will fit on it um, nicely and that this doesn't hang over too much over the edge. Should be good though. Okay, it's a little bit later and he's got it all set up, but we both decided that it's too small. It's weird though, because we measured everything out before and we thought it was gonna be good, but for some reason, it just looks so tiny in this space. Um, and also it's not very deep for me to be able to fit my Nespresso machine on here. But the good news is they make this exact same cabinet just with like three doors instead. So just imagine one extra door over here and it's actually deeper and quite a bit longer. So we're pretty sure we're gonna order that one and that should fit perfectly on this wall. Okay, even though we're gonna return this one and get the bigger one, we thought we would just put some stuff on it and see what it looks like and I'm obsessed. I think it looks so cute and it's making me so excited for when we get the real thing. We were just saying we're very impressed because it's made out of like real wood. It's not veneer or anything. I'm just very impressed by Target. Okay, so we returned the small one. We got in the bigger one, and I think it looks so good. Josh is almost done putting it together. It looks amazing. I'm so excited to like actually put stuff on it. I really wanna show you guys later my whole coffee cabinet situation, how I set it up, how I'm gonna be using it, the storage underneath, how I've organized that, because um, I'm just really excited about it. And then today is gonna be kind of like a tidying, reorganizing the house kind of day. I feel like we do these like once a month or every other month where we just like go through everything, get rid of some stuff, do a bit of a clear out and like reorganize because things just get crazy. All that being said, we are heading out to the farmer's market now. So I will probably vlog a little bit there. farmer's market now and I'm excited to show you finally the coffee cabinet ignore this okay just ignore that and that <laughs> um, today's like an organizing day there's like so much stuff all over the counter I'm gonna clear out the fridge organize that it's just gonna be like a day of organizing a Sunday a cozy Sunday of home organization. But before that happens, I wanna show you how I set up the coffee cabinet because I think it looks so good. It's not completely done yet. We still have a few more touches that we need to add to it. Um, but so far, I think it's really, really cute. This is our bar cart behind us. Okay, here it is. As you can see, first of all, the doors are a bit see-through and we're storing a lot of things in there. Um, so we are actually planning on going to like Michael's or somewhere and getting some, <laughs> my knee just cracked. Um, we're planning to go to Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or something and getting like a, like a brown fabric to go behind this so that you cannot see through because I think it just looks a bit, it's not messy, like everything's organized in there, but it just looks a bit messy from the outside. Also, keep in mind, we're going today to get, um, what do you call this, Josh? A surge protector? Like one of those that's just one plug, but then it has like an outlet, like strip of outlets so that we can plug in more things to it. And that's gonna be hidden like behind here and the cord is gonna be white. So it will not look as ugly as that does right now with the black cords. I just hate seeing cords personally, so that's that. We have my Nespresso machine that I'm obsessed with. This is the Nespresso 
Creatista. I'm gonna show you in a little bit how I make my perfect, really nice frothy lattes at home with this guy. And then we also have a really nice coffee grinder and it says, but first. We just like put that on there because we thought it was cute, you know, but first coffee. It is the Barazza brand. We use this if we want to make like a coffee in an AeroPress or a French press or something like that. Honestly, Josh is the one who mostly uses this one because he usually likes um, like a AeroPress or a French press kind of coffee. I usually go for an espresso, but it's nice to have both, you know, have options. I keep all of my little Nespresso pods or pods for the Nespresso in here. I got a couple Starbucks ones, Pete's coffee ones, and then actual... Nespresso ones, but I'm not that picky with them. I have this little tea dish that I got from Harrods in London And I think it's very cute and I just put like wet spoons on there I just made Josh some tea. That's why the spoon is wet now This is one of my favorite things. It's just a little tea organizer that I got from Amazon It's acrylic and it just I think it looks really pretty. We love puka tea But we also have a lot of like traditional medicinals and yogi like bedtime tea It's not super organized right now because we're kind of running low on our tea stash, so it's not completely organized, but I still think it looks good. And then we have our Bona Vita kettle, which we love. Right now it's not plugged in because we still need to get that strip, but I love this machine. We've had it forever and it works really great and you can temperature control your coffee or tea, which we love. And then we just have this very, very beautiful, gorgeous, delicious candle. And I just put one of these little glowing pumpkins here from Target. I'm obsessed with these. I think I need to go buy some more because I want to put them everywhere in my house. And then I thought I would just stack some cookbooks that are kind of pretty. These are two of our favorite cookbooks, but I just wanted something to kind of like, I don't know, add some depth and dimension because it's all just flat. So, so far that is the coffee bar. Oh, I forgot to mention a very important detail and that is that we are gonna get a piece of glass to go on top of this so that we don't mess up the wood because there's gonna be, you know, a lot of hot liquids here and I feel like we definitely don't trust, well, I don't trust myself to not spill on it and ruin it within like a week. It'll just be a really thin piece of glass to go over here and cover it and keep the wood safe from my spills, which will be great. But I think it looks so cute. And at night it also looks really cute. It's like such a cozy little corner of the house. I really love it. Okay, let's back up so you can see. You guys, those cords are literally killing me. I hate them so much. And also the fact that I can see through is bothering me a lot, but those are changing very soon. We have our little funky Nelson Mandela over there. I just think it's very cute. I feel like I have my own little cafe at home and I am obsessed. Okay, now I'm gonna show you inside and how I've organized the inside cupboards of this. So this is my little essential oils cubby hole and I love it. I really wanna keep this out somewhere, but at the moment in our house, there's literally no surfaces that this will fit and not look really cluttered. So we're trying to figure out if we can like build a shelf into the wall or something so that I can have my essential oils always pumping because I really, really do love it. And this is such a beautiful diffuser. I just love all my oils. I've organized them into like citrus blends, like woodsy blends and like all my favorites. See, there's like a ton more back there. I have so many, um, but yeah, love that. This is probably not the best use of space to be honest, but I just have our Kitchen Aid mixer here for baking. It's a mini one, so it fits in here really well. And then our cake stand, but the stand part is actually being used right now because we had a birthday party. Our little butter pot, because we don't have any butter at the moment, I need to get some today. So that's just being stored in here because, I don't know, things like this that we just don't have a place for when they're not being used. And then randomly I just have my extra tapered candles because I don't know where else to put them. So that's that cupboard. This is the most exciting cupboard. Um, it doesn't look super organized, but there's definitely a method to this madness. Obviously, we have a bunch of mugs in here. I've got our honey, stevia, AeroPress, coffee, more coffee, tea, and then like to-go travel mugs are kind of in the back and more loose leaf teas back there. But this is kind of the stuff that we're gonna be using the most of. And then under here is kind of random and not really organized at all yet, but this is kind of like the excess alcohol that doesn't fit on our bar cart. Basically, the bar cart was getting a little bit cluttered on top with way too many bottles and things. Also underneath, I need to like sort that out today too. So I started putting a few things in here like our simple syrup, this like strawberry margarita mix stuff, and this vodka, this massive bottle of <laughs> New Zealand vodka. We also have molasses. It's kind of just stuff that doesn't get used that much that I can just like throw under here. So I might need to like rethink this and make it more organized but 
it's okay for right now. And in the last cabinet we have, um, so this is like basically all of our supplements, like immune boosting stuff. We have these garlic immune pills that I've been taking for a long time. Um, this apple cider vinegar, emergency, iodine, these are like my sleepy gummies. And then I have um, collagen, which is kind of for smoothie, so I might actually put that in the main kitchen. And then this is magnesium for nighttime and for like whenever I have sore muscles. And then these back here are just Josh's water bottles for when he is cycling and then protein like shaker bottles. Um, and they just aren't that cute, so I put them back there. I definitely wanna make better use of this space down here too, but so far all I have in here is our protein. We have chocolate protein, vanilla protein, and then these are little hydration packs things it's like you add it to your water it's got electrolytes and stuff in it um and josh uses those when he's cycling so yeah that is all of the storage situation and like i said we're definitely gonna go get some sort of fabric to put behind here so that it's not see-through but i really love this texture i think it's so pretty this is how it's looking for now and i think it looks really cute i'm definitely excited to get that taken care of and so that we can plug in our kettle, get the glass top so I don't have to be like really stressed out and really extra, extra careful whenever I'm, you know, pouring things and making things. But I think it looks so good. It is the coziest Sunday ever. I'm in heaven. Look at this rain. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it on camera. I'm putting my seat heater on because I literally have cramps. Even though I just made a whole video about period stuff and how to not have cramps. Sometimes it's just unavoidable. Actually, it could have been avoidable probably if I took my apple cider vinegar, which I did not. I took two rounds of Advil, one last night, one this morning, because I was like not feeling well, and I'm still having cramps. Still. Mm. Still. She's selling it right. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Me and my husband are going to Ace Hardware to get uh, to see if they, oh, first of all, okay, what am I talking about? Why do I look so unbelievably white? Am I this white in real life? No. No? No, it's just, I don't look this white in real life. Anyway, we're on our way to Ace Hardware because we're gonna get a, what do you call it, Josh? A strip of outlets? A power strip, what is it? A power strip, so that, yeah, so that you can plug in, you know those ones that have like a ton of outlets in them, so you can plug in like a bunch of stuff at once? We need one of those to go behind the coffee cabinet so that we can plug in everything, the Nespresso, the grinder, and the kettle. And then we have to go to the grocery store and get a couple things. Publix and we got a lot of tea. I got a ginger, a cleanse, and a nighttime from Puka. We love this brand. Earth Balance Butter. Josh is obsessed with these perfect bars. I mean, I think they're really good too, but I mean, he eats all of them before I can. These, though, these are incredible. I also got tomato paste for the chili. I got sour cream, but it's dairy free for the chili. This is a pretty good one. Um,. Gardein was also on sale, so we stocked up because we freaking love everything they make. Classic meatless meatballs are amazing. We've actually never tried this one. Nashville hot chicken tender, so that's interesting. We'll try that maybe tomorrow. I've never had this one either. Have you ever had, have you ever had this, Josh? Mm -hmm. Interesting. And some coconut water. And then this is for that. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here are all the fresh veggies that are going in. Pretty much all of this we got at the farmer's market today, which is fun. So we've got colorful carrots, potato, celery, onion, garlic. I'm also gonna be putting in some corn, tomato paste, tomatoes, uh, like a mixture of beans, veggie broth, and I'm gonna top it with this amazing vegan cheddar that is actually made out of like stuff that's not even bad for you. I love this stuff. BioLife is the best vegan cheese brand in my opinion. And we're gonna top it off with this tofu tea sour cream. These are the spices that I'm using. A little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg for some like extra warmth and cozy flavor. 
Josh is chopping up the vegan plant-based meatballs to put in this chili. It looks gross, but it's very delicious. This is the heartiest, meatiest vegan chili you'll ever see. Here is my chili. I already kind of messed it up, but oh my lord, I'm so excited for this. I've got the vegan cheese and vegan sour cream in there. And I've also got my garlic toast. Good morning, friends. It is the next day now, and I don't know what happened yesterday. The day just kind of got away from me, and I never ended up making my pumpkin spice latte for you guys, like I said I was gonna do. But now that it's the morning, and I'm literally craving coffee right now, I thought it would be a perfect time to show you how I make my at-home perfect pumpkin spice latte with my Nespresso machine. I'm so excited. Okay, let's do it. So the only thing that's changed since yesterday is that Josh installed this little white um, uh, socket outlet thing, which is amazing because it looks so much better than the big black bulky cords that were coming out. It just, that looks way more seamless. I know I said I was gonna get a black sheet yesterday that we were gonna cut up and put behind these doors so that they weren't see-through, but we just kind of got a little bit too tired last night and hungry, so we just came home. But maybe today or tomorrow, I'm gonna go pick up a sheet so that we can get that started. I did get some more puka teas, and I'm super excited about them. This ginger one is so good. I had it last night. I had this one this morning, um, and this is one that I have like all the time, but I just think they look really pretty. Anyway, let's make a coffee. First things first, we are only gonna be using this machine today, which is the Nespresso Creatista Uno. It comes with a steamer to froth your milk, which is my favorite part of this machine. Um, so to turn it on, you just press any button and then they flash. And then whenever the machine is ready, it just goes solid like that, which is very, very fast. It's amazing. I don't know how it goes that fast. So once the machine is on, which literally takes like two seconds, um, you can set your settings. So I like to have mine, this is the foam setting, and I like the, the least amount of foam. I don't really like like frothy coffee. I don't like the feeling of just drinking air. So I put it to the lowest, but then I also like it to be the hottest setting. So this is the heat, low, medium, really hot. If you are dairy free or like to do less dairy, I highly, highly recommend this Oatly full fat oat milk. I think it's a lot creamier and just more delicious than the regular one, like the original one. So this is what I use to make my lattes. And then the star of the show, of course, is the pumpkin spice creamer. And this is from Califia. It is made with almond milk and coconut milk, and it's just very, very delicious. Okay, I don't know if you can see very well because it's not really focusing, but there are two fill lines in here, um, which is where I fill up the milk too. So I fill it up to the very first line with Oatly, maybe like a little bit past and then I fill it to the top line with pumpkin spice. I like to put a lot. Then I'm gonna put the wand in there. And this is just gonna sit for a minute. I just like to get it prepped before I do my espresso. Okay, I've got my mug and my pumpkin spice milk ready to go. Now I'm gonna go into my little pot of Nespresso pods. Pete's Coffee actually makes um, like Nespresso compatible pods like this. So I thought I would give them a try and they're pretty good. I still think I like the Nespresso ones better, but these are pretty good. I like to use two of these pods for one latte. So, you just stick it in there, close it, and then press this, which is just the regular espresso shot button. And we wait. It's so beautiful. It smells so good, you guys. Okay, I just put in pod number two. Beautiful. And now to steam my milk, I just press this button, which is for steam. And it's gonna go. Okay, the milk is nice and frothy. I feel like because I'm using this as well as the oat milk, it kind of changes the texture of the milk a lot, actually. Usually this is like really creamy and fluffy instead of the bubbliness, but it's okay because the flavor of this makes it worth having less beautiful foam. So you wanna clean the wand right away so that the milk doesn't dry onto the wand. I literally have no idea how to do latte art, so I just pour, give it a little wiggle, and hope for the best. That looks so yummy and frothy, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon to top it off. Also adding some pumpkin pie spice because I literally can't get enough spice in my life. It just elevates it and gives it a little bit of extra fall vibes. Stir it around just a little bit. 
Okay, it does not look as cute when you stir it, so just beware. But for me, I'm not really that fussed about it being cute. I just want to enjoy my beautiful pumpkin spice latte. And that is how I make my perfect pumpkin spice latte at home. The first sip is just always the best for some reason, so. It's perfection. It's crazy how just like a few spices can literally make you feel so many feelings. Like I just feel so cozy in fall right now. I love it. By the way, this cute little pink mug is from um, Urban Outfitters. I am about to go enjoy this on the couch and start getting some work done, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe, and I will see you in a new video very soon. Bye!